Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in today. As always, lovely to spend some time with you. Now, today I thought we'd use up the background that we made yesterday. So, for those of you that didn't join us yesterday, well, I could ask why not, but I'm not that sort of girl, am I? Anyway, what we did was we used our lovely laurel stencil to create, and hang on, I've actually got the card here, to create some stencil work here on the design. And it left ink on the stencil, so we spritzed it and popped it face down on a spare piece of card. And it gave us this background. And it suddenly occurred to me when I'd finished that often we make these backgrounds but they just pile up and it's what to do with them. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to see what I can create with it. And then I can show you how I did it. There are lots of ways for using these lovely backgrounds. And I just think, you know, we need to be honest with you. It's no good as just constantly saying, oh, use it up, use it up. And then never showing you how to use it up. So this is what I've created. Obviously, I had to make another background which was no hardship, to be fair. So I'm just going to get rid of that stencil, file that next to Eric. And what I've done is carried on the theme with the colours, but also I wanted the stencil work to be in the background. Now, originally, when I looked at it, I thought of having it this way and having our lovely... Um, is it Rue? Now, you see, I wish I'd paid note. Um, our lovely fairy that's hanging. Maybe some homework, look that one up. I think it might be Rue, but I'm not sure. You know I invent names myself. But anyway, I was thinking you could have her here. But again, you could. But then I went down another <laughs> avenue and created this design. Because also, quite often we get asked, have you got any designs for males, for our male members of the family? I mean, sometimes it can be difficult, can't they? You know, not saying, not saying any more on that. We'll leave that there. We'll file that away. So this is what I came up with and I hope you like it. And what we're going to do first is, as I say, I've got this other design here and it's nice because it's at the bottom. As I say, you could spend your time looking which way around you want it. And I'm just going to... Get myself some copy of paper to lean on. So I'm thinking I'll have it that way, the same as I did on my original. And I'm going to bring in the vine branch. And the idea is, what I was thinking was, if I could get my stamping over here, you see, what I don't want to do is stamp directly over the design and actually lose that because I love that and I want it to show through. And I'm just going to use black. I'm using our permanent ink, Versafine Claire, but I'm coming in with the Nocturne. It does look nice. Oh, look at that. We'll just ignore that. Good job I'm matting it on black card. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put this sort of over here. There. I want to still see the lovely stencil work but also include it in the whole design. Give that a good stamp. Then I'm going to come in with our lovely owl. Bit of bijou, I think. And he's lovely. He's going to just sit on the branch. Now, he does look lovely stamped in the, in the pine cone, in the brown as well. But I'm just sticking with black today. So I'm going to put him, just pop in there. And then give him a good press. There's a lot of detail in these beautiful owls. But look at that. It just stamps so well. I'm going to add a little bit of foliage over here. So again, I'm going to keep with the black. And just add a little bit down here I think and then 
And again, with this, you can add as little or as much as you want. It's such a lovely stamp, this. It works well. Like yesterday, remember we did a frame? You could make yourself a frame with this. I just want a little bit there. So we've got that bit there, look, that we can just pop in there. Now, I could come round here, but I think that would be too, too much for me. And you know what? I'm just going to quickly get rid of that. So this is live action. There we go. You didn't miss me, did you? Look at that. That black mark's gone. Shh, don't tell anyone I had it there. See? What you see is what you get. Oh, I'm out of breath. I only jumped off from my chair. It's no good, is it? So there we've got our lovely owl stamped and our beautiful finds. And, and I just think, look at that. The stencil work shows through, which I've got to be honest, I really like. I'm going to give that a quick blot because what I'm going to do is add just some colour around the edge and I'll keep it with the same colour so yesterday we used the green sleeves didn't we so let's come in again with the large stencil brush and as always I'm going to start in the corners always take it from the lid and we'll just add a nice little bit just to frame it so that's why I had to get rid of that little bit of ink that I got by mistake. It just, it would have annoyed me, you know. And I'd have kept looking at it and it would have distracted me. I don't know about you, but once something like that happens. But it's good that we show you these things happen. I'd say what, if I had to edit out everything that went wrong, what would I be like? There'd be none left. <laughs> You'd have a two second video of me saying, hello, welcome and take care. <laughs> So, as always, I'm inking up on the corner and then just dragging that ink along the side. Turn it round. Just for me, I find it easier to turn it round, ink up on the corner and then drag down the side. I'm just going to add a little bit deeper to that top corner and down that side. And I just think, look... It frames the whole design, but it brings that colour in and it just gives, I love using that word that Sir Tim has a cohesive design, but I think it does, it makes it look like it's all meant to be there. So we'll just move this out of the way and we'll give this a quick spritz. And we'll mop that up just so we can keep it as clean as we can. Also, I'll tell you what, the Inky Bink is definitely looking very green. <laughs> right. Now, when it comes to adding colour, we can use our watercolour pencils, we can use normal pencils, we can use lots of things we can use. But I'm thinking I'm going to use some of my Element Sink pads. So I've got Sahara, why are they all upside down? Truffle and Russet Orange. And what I'm going to do is just pop them, a Sahara there, a little bit of truffle there, and a little bit of russet orange just up there. Oh, more russet orange than I was thinking of. And then I've got my lovely number one watercolour brush, and I'm just going to start with the Sahara. And I'm just using my mat as a palette. And I'm just going to add a base coat of, of ink. And this is a lovely, quick way. Now, although we're doing almost like a faux watercolour painting, I'm using multi fairies card, so I know it will take a certain amount of water. Obviously, if you're doing lots of watercolour, you could use our watercolour card. But for the little bit I'm going to do, this is more than fine. And then what I'm going to do is just mix a little bit of that colour with the brown here, almost to make a little bit of a lighter brown. And then I'm just going to come round on this lovely frill that's round his eyes. And I'm just gonna add a little bit, just sort of highlights 
brings his eyes to life, look. And then with the same colour, I'm just almost going to add some little bits just under these feathers. Tracy's drawn a lot of detail in this. And so what I tend to do is I look for, say, here, and just at the base there where those feathers, and it just adds a little bit of shadowing and almost gives a little bit of extra depth. So then we've got our branch. So I just want to add, and what we'll do is very quickly, I'm just going to paint, and again, very quick look. And we'll add some lovely colour to the branch. And just be mindful to mind where his feet are and also where the, the lovely vine is. We'll colour that in after. I find it easier to do this first. I must admit the one thing that isn't easy is talking while you're doing it because it's so relaxing that you just want to sit and take your time. So again, if you're going to have a go at this design, oh, make yourself a brew, get yourself a nice snack and just relax and enjoy painting. I mean, this is just such a lovely thing to paint. It's so relaxing. I've got a little bit down here, look. Now I'm speeding through this. As I say, you will, you will take your time. A little bit more there. And then you're going to ask me why I put the orange. I mean, I've overdone it with the orange. I don't need this much, but what I'm thinking is round his eyes, look, and his lovely beak there. I just want some nice orange. And then his little claws here, his feet, they're orange. And then just to tie the whole, th whole thing together, look, I'm just going to add some little, just using the end of my brush, just a couple of little bits of orange. Just, I just think it ties it all together beautifully. Now, I must be honest, I've put far too much ink on here. And normally what I would do, I mean, don't look at this because I'm actually going to clean this up. But what you could do is drag your card through it and you know what, make yourself another background and then you will have another background to start on another project. And I'll tell you what, you could keep going. So if Mr Mojo has gone, literally each project you do, you could make yourself a free background and then the following day you've got another background to use up and a starting point. Now look at that. I think that looks lovely. I'm just going to bring my copy paper back. Now I've got a line look across his eye. You know I like to show you things. Now I reckon on here, and I can see it, there's a tiny little hair on my stamp. So I really need to give my stamp a good clean. But what I can do is get my black fine liner and I'm just going to dot over this. Anything like this, in my opinion, don't scribble. If you almost colour it by almost colouring in, you know, like we do scribbling, it'll show. But if you put little dots on, you'd be surprised. I just think that, now there you go, look. Got rid of that. Just need to darken that area there. Again, lots of little dots with my Micron pen. Yeah, happy with that. So I wanted to add some lovely dangly bits. Now we like dangly bits, don't we? So we've got a lovely stamp set called the foliage set look. And it's actually got two stamps on there of these almost hanging catkins type. But I'm going to go for the smaller one. And I thought to match, I'd use the verdant. Because I just think it needs something else, but I don't want anything to spoil it or overcook it. So I'm thinking if we have a few of these, look, and we have some lovely 
hanging catkins and again it just adds something for me the difference here and we'll add a few over here now there's some areas that i don't want them to be too long so for example if i look up here so again if we use our acetate if i was to put that there for me that looks wrong it looks as good it's fall down and get him on his head so I'm just going to get a piece of copy of paper, look. And that way I can protect up here, stamp it, and then it's just half the size. And to me, that looks far better. So I can have a full one there. And then maybe just a... Because, and again, it looks nice because the different sizes. So maybe I can add a few sort of small ones where I'll put one there maybe one from there maybe a little one from there just the hint right down here so we have one there and then maybe one there and just lastly a little one down here i don't want to i don't want to overcook it but I just think that adds just a nice little bit of interest. Now, what I do want to do is add some lovely Posca splats and also the little vine. Now, we've got these lovely, the Signo gel pens and this is green. And although my green sleeves almost looks quite yellowy in this light, I thought the green would pick it up nicely. But again, there are so many different colours that you could go for. The hardest bit with this is having a steady hand. And also, I just want to make sure I don't lean and put any marks on my work. So if my head comes over, I do apologise. But you really need to be on top of this to see it. add that there and then what I will do I'll get my white and let's add a few little dots onto our little buds here now these could be buds they could be berries but they just look better with and I'm not going on every single one because for me that overcooks it but just a few little white highlights And again up here, so I'm just going to lean. And if you want, you can always go over the white highlights in his eyes. Oh, and you see I've missed that vine up here for the green. So those of you that were shouting, telling me, thank you very much. It's a good job I listened. So now we can add our Posca splats. And if you're not into your Posca, obviously you ignore this. You know me, this is the yellow sil uh, sparkly one. And I'm being mindful, I don't want them all over my owl. You can protect your owl if you want. Just mask him off. And yes, can you see I've got a little bit of green up there. I have noticed that. So guess what? That's where my sentiment's going. See, I only do these things to show you how to get round them. You see how good I am to you? <laughs> Wouldn't mind, I only just noticed that. And you know what that was? It was when I was stamping and I put my paper here. It went over that side I hadn't noticed. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, for one of our lovely sentiments... Now, you know this takes me a while. I'm sure there's one here that I thought would be absolutely just perfect. Gifted and blessed, I think. Our little man is definitely gifted and blessed. And let's just see with the scissors. 
if we can get it over there. There we go, see, nobody knows that was there. And you know what? What would be perfect for that? Because he is gifted and blessed in my little tin. Look, I have a crown. And this is one of the pound stamps, the crown. And I'm going to add it, yep, yeah, because he is gifted and blessed. So I'm just going to use some bippity boppity glue. And I've stamped this in the black and I've just added my sparkle Posca pen and a little bit of the green gel pen. Just so it all matches beautifully and we'll pop his crown on. A little bit of glue come underneath. It does dry clear, so don't worry if any comes, it won't underneath, it won't spoil it. So there we have our lovely. I think that would make such a fun birthday card. Or maybe somebody's done well. Maybe they've passed the driving test. You could make a little L plate and just add it there, torn in half. I mean, that's easy enough to do. We can all do a red L on a white square, can't we? Or maybe somebody else has had a good achievement. Or just a simple birthday card for a friend. But like I say, just a lovely way to start by using that background up. So if you've got any backgrounds and you're feeling a bit, a bit fed up, not knowing what to do, maybe look them out and maybe have a little play. I'd love to see what you get up to. Mind you, I'm a bit nosy. I like to see what you get up to anyway. So you take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have some lovely, lovely crafty time. Honestly, we're so lucky that we can craft together. You take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.